Welcome back. We're here looking at the cryptocurrency market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Wednesday, May 12, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And we'll start by looking at the Bitcoin. As you can see, we did rally a little bit today, but still, we're still just locked in this range with the highs of 59k to the very low, the kind of lows here of 52k. If we drop below one of these levels, then we're probably going to rally to the very highs or basically rally back to these previous lows at 47k. Technical indicators, they are kind of all over the place. MACD is bullish, Stochastic is bearish, CCI is uh, becoming bearish, and the RSI is flat at this current date. So we need a uh, technically a clear signal where we're basically going. If we break above uh, 64k, then we're heading towards 70, and beyond that, break below here, then we're heading towards the 200 moving average and lower. So let's look at Ethereum. So Ethereum is uh, continuing its rally. It is, uh, its RSI is at 90 at this point. Um, usually it's 93, 95 when things are really, um, well, basically fall apart. If you can see right over here, this was all the way up at give or take 94 and it lost nearly half of its value. Same over here, lost nearly, uh, well, roughly 30% of its value, and so on. And if it were to lose 30, 50% of its value, this currency will be dropping all the way down to 2,000. Probably 50 moving average will be where we'll find buyers. We had 55, uh, 2,500. Technical indicators, they are slowly turning around. MACD is still bullish, Stochastic is bearish, CCI is still bullish, but the RSI is flat and significantly overbought at this point. So let's look at ADA. So Cardano did rally today and looks like we are, this was probably as far as we would go. If we uh, look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is bullish, the stochastic is becoming bullish again, CCI is bullish and the RSI is also bullish. So there is room to the upside. We still broke above this and this proved to be um, acting as a support now, the previous highs here. So Yes, it's kind of ready to head towards $2, uh, amazingly. So uh, break below, uh, breakdowns from here will most likely find major support at 1.49. So let's look at Litecoin. So Litecoin did rally yesterday. We got all the way up to 409 and then broke down today and then rally yet again. So same thing here. It looks like the very highs here of uh, 334 is going to be the bottom for now at least if that breaks then we'll drop towards the 15 to 20 expansion moving average at 305 20 moving average right here at 289 so this is still overbought but not really significantly overbought compared to ethereum and so on these can go all the way up to 90 before they really collapse you can see we had a massive collapse here and after this really um really nasty candlestick here. I thought this was basically going to do another move towards the 50 moving average, but still resilient and heading slowly up towards 400 again. Break below, break above that will lead to 450 and beyond. So let's look at NEO. So NEO has found support at the middle of the bullish band and continues to rally today. So uh, technical indicators, they are still fairly flat, but they are also turning around like the stochastic and the MACD. So if we manage to take out these previous highs, then we'll probably go to 150, break below the 20 exponential, we'll open the door to the 50, down here at $17, $77. So let's look at Dash. It's very similar to Dash, found support at the 20 exponential moving average, and now we continue this rally. My RSI is bullish, the the CCI is bullish, Stochastic is picking up bullish, and the MACD is bullish in, indeed. So if we manage to break above here, then we'll probably head towards the highs here of roughly 468 and then to 500. Break down from here, 20, uh, 20 exponential, 20 simple, and uh, 50 moving average will most likely offer massive support. So let's look at Dogecoin. Yes, so Dogecoin has yet again stabilized uh, around the 20 exponential moving average. It did rally 9% today and gave some of those gains back, but 
will probably stay here for a while. Um, if you look at this, it usually has a fall and then it stabilizes and then it continues to rally. So it builds momentum and then continues. As long as this doesn't break, then we're not dropping towards the 50 moving average down here, 0 0.23. It will continue rallying and i think most people will uh, want to see this go towards a one dollar and uh, as long as uh, it's in the news and positive uh, news indeed then people will continue buying into this and that will just make this go higher so demand will basically push this to higher levels if you look at technical indicators we can see the macd is crossing the signal line that is a very serious indication the stochastic is bearish, CCI is uh, kind of flat, uh, but heading towards bearish territory, and the RSI is flat at this current stage. So we'll see basically what happens, but at this point, 20 exponential is holding for now. So hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and good luck, and thank you very much.